Dobar Dan, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. I'm going to do an energy check-in for the Twin Flames today. I just want to thank all of you so much for all of the comments and the shares and the likes and the support. And I also want to thank all of the trolls who find it necessary to comment on my videos. Believe it or not, you actually help my videos when you do that. So not only are you helping me, but you're providing ample, ample entertainment for me. So thanks. Keep it up. All right, so let's get this started. Well, yeah, I mean, that's about right. I, I feel like a lot of us right now, there's, there's a major urge to get back to work, to working on self here. A lot of us have kind of neglected ourselves. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, we've been so distracted, right? We've been really, really distracted by external things, by the things going on outside of ourselves, um, that we've kind of lost sight. Again, I said this yesterday of the bigger picture, and, and that's just in general. I feel like a lot of us have kind of lost sight of our goals, our own goals, of what we need to achieve of ourselves, our self-care, um, of controlling ourselves, and, and we're just so wrapped up and so absorbed in the external things and the drama and the things that are going on in the world right now that that we have literally dropped the ball dropped the ball okay uh, so i feel like a lot of us are, are being pushed to get back uh to work literally uh to work on yourself uh to to work on um confidence okay a lot of us have lost confidence not just in ourselves, but in the journey, we've lost confidence in our connection. We've lost, just lost confidence in general. Okay, so I feel like a lot of us are returning to that, to that self-love aspect and bringing back that confidence. You know, and you can have confidence without being an ego, okay? Completely different things, okay? Uh, egocentric is not confidence, completely different, all right? So don't equate the two, all right? Um, but a lot of us also, you know, kind of returning to the spirituality of things. Like, the, this has been one ego-fueled year, guys, so far. Like, massive, massive ego death across the board. Like, ego just trying to cling on. Like, you can just watch the... Like, I, I don't recommend walk, watching the news, but, I mean, if you have seen the news, just take a look at everything that's happening. Take a look at some of our leaders. Take a look at what's going on with, with, with basically everybody in their ego. Like, we're talking major, major reptilian brain going on right now. Like, just ma major, major reactions, and it's like a domino effect. It's like one after another, after another, after another. It's like we feel like we can't stop it, okay? So so that's what I mean by a lot of us are, are so absorbed with what's going on outside of ourselves. We have forgotten what the whole point of this journey is, <laughs> is uh, us, the inside work, okay? So a lot of us are being pushed, okay, and once more to rely on our intuition, to, to embrace the spiritual aspect of things, to get out of ego, okay? And this could be coming by way of towers. This could be coming by way of, you know, aha moments, whatever it is. You know, it could be coming in by literally a slap in the face. being like, you know what? Wake up. You know, you've been doing this for way too long. Okay. You, you've been feeling out of control because you're trying to control things that you cannot control. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Instead of focusing on yourself and controlling yourself. Okay. Some of you, this is pertains to your, your connection. Some of you are still trying to control your connection. Okay. Some of you are still trying to control a karmic situa situation. Some of you are still trying to control, um, you know, I don't know, a family situation or, or, you know, whatever the circumstance is, instead of trying to control yourself and trying to, to work on yourself, um, in that situation and change it from the inside out. Okay, and some of these energies from the Sagittarius moon is bringing a lot of um, forethought. Like a lot, I, I feel like a lot of a lot of you kind of in philosophical mode at this point. You know, some of you, some of you had lost yourselves, and now you're kind of coming back into yourself, going, you know what? I need to disconnect from this, whatever this is, whatever this is that whatever it pertains, you know, whatever it pertains to in this instance for you. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Um, but a lot of you are just getting here going, you know what, it's not worth it. It's just not worth the energy. It's not worth the, you know, whatever, the pain, the, the frustration. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I do feel a lot of you just kind of saying, you know what, I'm giving it up to the universe at this point because there's nothing I can do. Right. Um, there's nothing I can do to, um, 
to control the situation, only thing I can control is myself, and that's exactly right. Okay. All right, so taking a look at Divine Masculine, boom, there we go. Major awakenings happening, obviously, with Divine Masculine. Masculine's been going through this for a while, though. Masculine energy has been going through a lot of awakenings, a lot of ego death. And, and this, again, is being illustrated across the world, okay? We're, we're talking major, major ego death happening right now. And ego is kind of in its death throes, trying to hold on as long as it can. Control, trying to hold on to control, okay? And and the problem is, is that as individuals, you know, we, we again, we get kind of wrapped up in this external drama that we forget about ourselves. And that's the point. That is the point, is to distract you. Okay, don't fall into it, all right? So Divine Masculine, I feel like a lot of Divine Masculine is kind of cutting themselves off from this stuff too because they're tired of it as well. And, and I'm talking like also manifesting in their personal lives. So karmic situations, some of them, you know, in some seriously codependent situations and they're like, nope, done. Done with this. I'm cutting this off. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm um, getting maybe a mother figure here. Definitely a female figure of some prominence, okay? Um, possibly, you know, holds the purse strings, things like that. Um, possibly relies on this person maybe um, in more ways than one maybe not just financially right but they're waking up to the to the to the reality of this particular situation and realizing that they have not been in their truth at all mm -mm. they feel like they can't speak their truth in a lot of ways but the, but they're also realizing they haven't been living their truth at all that the foundation that they've been <laughs> That they've been trying to build it just keeps falling over and over and over again is because it has absolutely no integrity whatsoever none none okay and some of them have been trying to manipulate the situation some of them have been mentally manipulated by this person okay whoever this is some of them are trying to mentally manipulate the situation or this person whoever this is okay but either way the foundation is falling because it cannot stand all right and so they want to create what a new beginning they want to create a new foundation so we got the king and the queen of wands here which is interesting okay so boom that's the male that's the masculine and the female energy together here so i do feel and we've got the the four of wands so that's really interesting all right so a lot of them coming to realization, okay, that the foundation that they're in right now has absolutely no integrity whatsoever. They need to have an equal balance of both. Some of them are strategizing their way out of these situations. Some of them are trying to still manipulate the situation and trying to, to leave without making waves. <laughs> okay, good luck. Um, but I also feel a return of the sexual energy. There's a lot of wands here, okay? Uh, and some of you may have felt, may have been feeling this, okay? It's like sexual energy is on the rise <laughs> Sasha got jokes all right um <laughs> let's take a look at divine feminine see how you're mirroring divine feminine <laughs> yeah yes okay so some of you yeah this actually, this is interesting because the world came out upside down yesterday uh, for Divine Feminine. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you are trying to get this wheel spinning again. Okay, a lot of you trying to get this wheel spinning again. You're like, you know what? I've been in the stuck energy. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to let this distract me. I've got to work on myself. I've got to clear this karma. I've got to get this over with, right? And some of you are dealing with a karmic situation. Some of you, are this is this represents to me a lot of times a male karmic. Okay, so the, the Queen of Pentacles to me is female karmic. Male, uh, the King of Pentacles to me is male karmic. Just in, that's just what it shows me. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with a male karmic. Now this could be a karmic partner. This could be a brother. Could be a you know an uncle, a father, a, a boss, whatever. Okay, um, but some of you are closing out some cycles with a karmic. A male karmic or it, it doesn't have to be male in general it could just be the the you know masculine energy okay so keep that in mind um it could also you know what that's interesting that just kind of came in this could also be you closing some cycles with your divine masculine some karmic cycles with your divine masculine but also clearing some stuff with your masculine energy does that make sense okay uh, which by the same token, this could also be represented with, with the divine masculine. This could be representing his his feminine energy, but also could be representing closing some cycles with his divine, divine feminine. Okay. Um, but either way, I mean, there's movement happening in these connections, guys. Look at this. Look at this. And this actually came out sideways. Okay. So it's kind of transitioned here. All right. 
But it's almost like here, uh, you know, Divine Feminine is trying to find movement here without getting stuck within the connection, okay? But there's also movement within the connection, all right? And Divine Feminine is feeling that. So some of you may be, and I said this yesterday, some of you may be feeling, um, you know, a return of the psychic energy, um, so in the psychic connection, you're getting messages, you're getting dreams, you're getting whatever coming in, okay? And that 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 is, you know... The psychic connections I do feel have been strengthening this year. Um, you know, even if you never had a really strong psychic connection with your counterpart, I feel like it's just kind of getting to that point where almost everybody is linked psychically with their counterpart, okay? Those of you who have already had a really strong psychic connection, it's like it's... It's kind of hard to explain because I've always had a really strong psychic connection with my counterpart. Uh, but it's almost like they're just always there. Like, they're just there. Okay, and like, you know, conversations that you have, whether in dreams or whatever it is, it, they're just, it's like so real, it does not feel like a dream. Like, you know, when you wake up from a dream, a lot of times it just kind of fades away as the day goes. I'm talking dreams that are so vivid, you do not forget them, period. Like, you remember every single detail. Everything that was said, everything that was heard, everything that was done, everything you saw. Those are not dreams. Those are psychic um, connections. Those are... Um, astrological, tra or, I'm sorry, astrological, <laughs> um, those are like astral travel, you know what I mean? Like that, that is an astral experience, okay? But some of you Divine Feminines, you've been so lost in some of these connections too, okay? You've been, you know, feeling the heartache, feeling the betrayal, feeling like, the, you know, the lack of decision that's being made by your counterpart, but also it's affecting you in a lot of ways. So, I do feel this is part of the karma that's being cleared, uh, you know, between the twins, okay, is the is the waiting energy, that's what's coming up right now, uh, you know, Divine Feminine, you're not supposed to wait, okay, remember that, remember that, remember that, you do not wait, you do not wait, you move on, you do your thing, okay, otherwise you sit in this waiting energy, it's just gonna keep Divine Masculine stuck, all right. Uh, so connecting energies, yeah, I mean, a little off balance right now. Um, like I said, it, the, the, just the foundations in general. And and these foundations, this the, like I said, this could be with a karmic partner, but it could be karmic uh, situation within the connection. Okay, You can also act as each other's karmic. Keep that in mind, okay? Um, like if you're actually together with your counterpart or something like that, you could be clearing a karmic situation within your connection. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, but the energy is just in general right now. I feel just kind of mm, like that. It, it's almost like a rubber band, okay? It's almost like one of you is just like, mm, you know, trying to, <laughs> it's like each of you are trying to go this way, right? Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of manifestation happening. And I feel like, you know, really in general, we're trying to muster up our strength right now. There's just a lot going on. It's very, very draining. Like I said, with some of these negative the negative energies that are coming in, we've got to rise above this, um, you know. But I feel like in general, both counterparts are really trying to muster up their strength to deal with whatever it is they need to deal with because this is ending. These, these cycles are ending. So Divine Feminine, you might be mustering up your strength to walk away from the connection or to walk away from a karmic situation, whether that be a job or a a partner or a family situation same with divine masculine this is the exact same energy okay um yeah releasing codependency boom there you go it's exactly what i just said releasing karma boom yep and manifesting abundance within the connection okay and it's coming guys like some again i said this before some of you may achieve i don't know full-on union but definitely um some sort of pre-union does that make sense uh happening this year for some of you in the 3d i do feel that i know there's a uh there's a union window happening this month in june okay so some of you may achieve union very very soon all right so messages from the counterparts Mm 
Mm. Right. All right, messages and advice. Yeah, guys, we got to return our focus. That's just that's just what I'm saying. Like, there's been too much going on externally. A lot of us have lost sight of, of just so much, okay? So it's time to return the focus to to oneself. Listen to your intuition here, okay? There, there, with all of this, there is transformation happening, but we've got to get back to, to where we need to be here. A lot of us are just way too distracted. A lot of you still, you know, coming into the surrender stage. Some of you still need to release. Some of you still need, yep, boom, there you go, release. That's exactly what I just said. Some of you still need to do that. Some of you still haven't done that. Some of you are still too much in your, don't confuse stubbornness with strength. They are not the same thing, okay? All right. But yeah, I mean, some of you just need to appreciate yourselves a little bit more. Some of you have just, I don't know what it is. It's like a guilt energy or something coming in. Some of you, there's just some self-loathing and it's not, it's not good. Okay. Need to break out of that. All right, guys. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.